Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com well, We're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics theme here and what we're going to do is we'll add a little footer to our page here. In the last video we added some Google fonts to style our site and we did our slider. Let's just add a simple footer to the bottom of this page here. So let's go down to our bracket software. And I've got my index.html open and my custom CSS open. If you've not been following, we created a folder. Inside, we created our index.html, which is the skeleton for our website, and our custom CSS, which is the file that we use to actually style our website with. So let's go to our index.html and we'll roll down to the bottom. And after our last section, which was our little introductory paragraph there, let's add a footer. So I'm going to open, I'm going to say footer and close. Now, what do we want to happen with our footer? Well, if you remember from the last videos, we did some columns and, and rows and things and demonstrated that. What we want to do with our footer is I want to make it into three little columns within our row. I don't want it to be in a container, so I don't want it to be boxed. I want it to spread full width. So I'm not going to put it in a container. And I want three equal columns. Now, if you remember before, we said that viewable area on a bootstrap is made out of up of 12 equal sections. So to have three columns, we need a row with each column being four, because four threes are 12. So let's do that. So I'm going to start a new div. I'm going to make it a row. Div with a class equals row. And we'll close out that div. And in between our row, we're going to want three columns, like I said before. So let's start by putting in our first column. I'll say div with a class equals, I'm going to say column medium four. So on medium devices, it will show up as a four, but when it gets smaller, it's going to show up as a 12 full width. I'll show you, I'll demonstrate that later on, but that'll do absolutely fine. We'll close out that column. So that's our first one done right there. I want to put a bit of space in between for the content. Now what I want to do is just copy that. So we've got three of them. There's one right there. Go down one. Control V to paste. There's two. Control V to paste again. There's three. So now we've got a row with one, two, three columns in it, which is what we wanted. Just clean up that bit of space there. All right, and off. It's going to be left, center, and right. And in our right column, I'm going to go ahead and steal our company logo. So if we look at the site, this is that little logo that we made. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to put that in our right column. So what I'm going to do, I could type it in, but I've already got it in there. So I'm just going to steal the code we've got up here for the actual image itself, which is our navbar brand up here. So I'm going to take that and also that means also because it's got that link in it, it's going to, when you click on it, it'll take you to the top of the page. I might change that to the URL of the site so that every page takes you back to the home. Right, control C to copy. Now I've stolen that. And we said we want that in our third one here, didn't we? So let's just put that over here. Now I don't want to give it the, the navbar brand. It is a navbar brand, but I don't want to give it that class right now. So I'm going to just take that away. The link, the hashtag, like I said, when you click on it, a hashtag will just take you to the top of the page, which is fine. Image source equals the logo, which is the actual logo itself. All image tags really should have what they call an alt tag. This is for people that are sight impaired and it'll actually read out the description. So 
you could put logo or company logo or something pertaining to what the image actually is a lot of people actually use that for SEO and will put keywords in the alt tags which is fine too that does help your SEO a little bit okay so we got that there and our middle section let's just put a copyright notice in there so I'm going to open some paragraph tags just like we did with our little paragraph above here and I'm going to say copyright I'm going to use the copyright symbol uh, which you can do with an alt code which is 0169 when I push the alt this might throw this into an error though let's try it alt 016 uh, okay yeah it did so well let's put it in anyway zero alt you hold the alt key down keep it held down do zero one six nine and as you can see it puts that copyright symbol in and it sort of closed up our HTML for us here so I'm going to just some reason it's put it right there before the HTML tag closing tag so I'm gonna control X and cut that put that tag back on the bottom where it's supposed to be and I'm gonna paste that copyright symbol inside there again I'll put the list of alt codes in a link below this video if you want to use it they're kind of handy um, so we'll say copyright 2019 bootstrap 4 okay and I think what I'm gonna do is in our parent div right here I'm gonna say text center which will centralize all of our text if I spell it right there we go <laughs> text center uh, in all of these divs that are within that other div right there that we've just put that class in so let's save that and see what we've got we should actually have a foot it won't look very exciting it's going to have that logo and a bit of text in there but it's just have a simple background control s to save let's go back to our site and refresh and there it is there's our footer at the bottom like i say it's not very exciting but what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a back a black background I'm going to make that text white because it will disappear when we give it a back black background and I'll also give it a bit of padding so that logo is not sitting right at the bottom there so first things first let's give it a black background let's go to our custom CSS file this time drop down custom CSS I'm going to go down to the bottom I'm going to add a new title because this is a footer section and when it comes to making new pages which we'll be doing later on um, we'll uh, just copy over this footer section to each page so we don't have to recode it every time we can literally just lift the code from here and put it onto our new page so we've got the same footer every time so footer title the star the forward slash star star forward slash if you encapsulate any text in that it will not be read as code by the browser so we can use it for putting in titles and when you've got hundreds of lines of CS having a CSS having a title in there is a good idea because it makes it a lot easier to find bits of code so I write footer open and close some curlies drop down and what we want we want to give it a background of black well let's perhaps not go black let's go almost black let's say a, a dark gray like a 222 or something so hashtag 222 obviously you can put in whatever color you want but i'm going to use that sort of dark gray okay let's just save that control s back to the site and refresh now and as you can see we've got a a dark gray or almost black background it's maybe even be a bit blacker than I wanted I might take it up in color you can't see our text here because it's black on black or dark on dark now what I want to do is give this a bit of padding so it's got some breathing room above and below 
I want to make this text white so we can see it or light in color so we can see it and that's all very easy to do what I'm going to do is go back to our index.html and there's our text and if I simply go in there and give it the class of text dash light it'll now be white or a light color that will stand out on that background let's save that let's go back to our site and refresh and see what we've got there you go you can see that right now and what I'm going to want to do when I've added the padding is bring this down so it's central with this so let's go back to our custom CSS and what I want to do is add a bit of padding top and bottom in fact I'm going to add padding all around with that footer of 30 pixels so it'll have 30 pixels top 30 pixels right 30 pixels bottom and 30 pixels left so I'm just going to say padding colon 30 pixels and that will apply it to all sides you can do two entries top and bottom left and right you can do three entries top bottom uh, left and right and it will presume the next one's the same you can do four entries individual for each one different on top right bottom and left but we're just going to do the one today because i want that all round. let's save that control s go back there we go that's more like it we've got our padding there that colors kind of growing on me a little bit let's try it with a lighter gray let's say 444 four, four, perhaps save that and refresh yeah that's all right let's leave it at that see the logo nicely you can see this nicely now what we need to do is i need to put this text down just a tad so I'm going to give this a class of its own so we can target it individually. Let's go back to our HTML. Now here's our text. And let's give it another class. I'm just going to say copy for copyright. That'll do fine. You can call it whatever class you want as long as it's unique. And as long as you remember what you've called it. I'm calling mine copy for copyright. So I need a drop down one. Put in the class that I've just entered there, which is copy. Open and close some curly brackets. And then of course, we're gonna wanna decide how much we wanna push it down. So we need to give it a bit of padding at the top to push it down. Let's do this with our Chrome inspector. I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm gonna right click hit inspect on the element I want to inspect and here it is right here so let's just see how much padding let's take that off so we can see what's going on here okay and let's give it a padding top of say we'll try 50 that's probably going to be too much padding top 50 pixels yeah let's push it down a little bit too far what I'm gonna do is I've got my 50 there I'm gonna left click on it so it highlights then I can scroll up and down with my mouse wheel and move it in real time just gotta make sure my cursor is over the actual number I think that looks about right what's that 30 yeah that looks about right so let's take that I'm just left clicking and dragging to select control C to copy let's go back to our custom CSS and now we'll add that value to the class that we just made there control S to save now if we go back to our site and refresh nothing should change it should change exactly like that stay exactly like that I should say there we go so there's how to add a little footer to your site. Very easy and you're going to want to do it. And like I say, we can copy this over to the other pages. Now you might be wondering why we've not put anything in this 
column right here and that's a good thought the reason is I'm going to add some social media symbols to this but I'm probably going to use font awesome to do it and we'll do that in another video so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please comment give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web design take a look down below we've got some great free tutorials down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.